Let's give a big round of applause welcoming the six So much, don't they sound great? Yeah. Uh, in case you didn't notice, uh, we have one child who is uh, a little bit bigger and hairier than the rest, sitting right over there. <laughs> we call him the new kid. Um, that's Mr. Sekla. We go teach band together, and he's, uh, per my request, sitting in a playing tuba with him today. So, how about a round of applause for Mr. Sekla? a magical music fairy that comes and teaches them how to play, that it, uh, learning music and getting good on instruments comes from hard work and consistency and effort, and they're doing a great job with that. We are going to keep the show moving uh, with our next piece, and to introduce our next piece to you, I would like to introduce Jasper Workman. Jasper, come on up. Thank you. 
of the learning in this piece were ties and slurs along with E signatures. I hope that you like this piece as much as I did. So sit back in the chairs and get ready for Wellington Overture. Percussionists are transitioning and getting set for our last piece. I thought that I would uh, share two thoughts with you. One is uh, that seventh grade, can you believe they're going to be in seventh grade? Uh, seventh grade brings new opportunities in band. Um, they will have a chance to, if they are interested, uh, learn what we might call a color instrument, so not just the alto saxophone, but we'll be inviting some of our saxophone players to learn tenor and very sax. Uh, we will be inviting students to try out the French horn and tuba and baritone, and there are a few others as well, so you can have a conversation with your uh, son or daughter and decide if that's something that they might be interested in, and they can see Mr. Seckler and me during focus over the last few weeks of the school year to try one of those instruments, uh, one of those school-owned instruments. Uh, also, we're going to be giving them some new uh, audition music. This is completely optional, but there are things that they can audition for, such as the jazz band and the woodwind choir. Once they are in seventh grade, and there are other festivals as well, like honor band festivals, that students who are uh, very um, into the idea of doing something extra in band that they can also try out for. So they'll be getting some of that music, and all of those things are extra and optional. Uh, and then finally, um, we'll be sending an email about things going into the summer, but just one thing to keep in mind is we definitely want them to keep their instruments, and uh, please encourage them to play them. 
there's a saying um, that you've heard before, I'm sure if you don't use it, you lose it. And that's absolutely true in vain. We can help them all get it back when they come back next year, but if they do a little bit of playing over the summer, that will definitely help them out as they transition into the beginning of the school year. So we do have one more piece for you, uh, and that is going to be introduced by one of our trombone players. Please welcome Olivia. Remember at the beginning of the year, we did introduce each section. Well, we're going to do the same kind of thing and show you how much they've improved. So we're going to start with the flutes. I'm going to give them a count in, and they're going to play their solely for you. Thank you. And listen for all of those solis in this next piece. 
Star Fantasy. Thank you, everyone.